Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. <clears throat> Last time when we left off, we had just arrived at the Vicky and Vance Casino and finished speaking to Johnson Nash, the director of the Mojave Express office. Let's look around the rest of the casino before we head across the street to the Bison Steve to rescue Deputy Beagle from the escaped convicts. I don't think there's a radio in here I can shut off, unfortunately. I want to get rid of all of the generic prim residents. Oh, that's too bad. Actually, I wonder... Oh. Shoot. Never mind. I wanted to pick open that lock, but... Instead of, uh having one of the prim residents open the door, but oh well. Didn't make the deadline. <clears throat> okay, Ruby Nash gets to stay alive. That's all the generic prim residents. So now let's start clearing out the casino. All right, the main little floor is done, but we can um, check out these four signs. So you can see a bullet-riddled car here. Vance's personal machine gun. 
Vance's gun. The 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper-wrapped box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended its notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun, so long as his aim was exact and he was starting off with a full clip, or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remembered to reload. I'll be right back. Just need to shut the office door. Vance's outfits. Oh wait, and let's examine the case. Okay, same text. Vance's outfits. These mannequins display replicas of some of the clothing that was found in the trunk of Vicky and Vance's death car. Vance didn't share Vicky's sense of fashion and chose to dress himself how he envisioned a gangster would dress. Hey there. Vicky's outfits. These replica outfits show just how conscious Vicky was of the styles of the period. Vicky was well known for her sense of fashion and her fixation on expensive clothing was thought to be one of the reasons the pair chose a life of crime. Howdy. All right, now let's do this outer ring, so to speak. Let's drink those Sunset Sarsaparillas we just picked up. And then we got these shelves, too. Oh, got spotted. That one was one too many. Okay, so let's only pick up three. Right, okay. Give me a shot if you need anything else. 
Oh yeah, and he'll play Caravan. But since we just made a bunch of room, let's uh, see if we can't finish clearing this place out. top shells first. They're definitely more annoying. Alright. Awesome. Alright. Come on. <clears throat> Just have to wait for her to turn. Now we've got to leave. Because Johnson won't buy anything that's uh, <clears throat> got stolen tags from Prim. So, off to Good Springs we go. Got any caps? Feeling thirsty? Nope, of course not. Why would you? I don't know why I'm bothering to check with Chad. It's not like he'll have restocked either, but I don't know. I, I mean I think their timing is. You looking to buy synced. some supplies? Goodbye is what I'm trying to click. Thank you. So we won't be able to sell any of this prim stuff until Chet finally does restock. But on the other hand... Okay, let's do this right quick so we can keep it all segregated. Reason being, we can try to sell the stuff that's in that other dumpster to Johnson Nash. So he's still got a few hundred caps.
Ruby's casserole is another great food item, so we're good for the next little while without having to craft. That's nice. my hunger. We're fine. So now let's head back over here. that single shotgun in here. There we go. Now I want to ship all this stuff to Prim. Careful. Gotta be careful here, too. There we go. Now when we fast travel to Prim, all that stuff will be there waiting for us in the Mojave Express drop box. Now, Johnson Ash doesn't have enough caps to afford all of it, but we can sell him some of the heaviest stuff at least. Back to Prim we go. hit pick up items and then all the stuff comes back into our inventory as you can see. Hey youngster. weapons is pretty good by itself. He's only got five caps left. Well, let's take full advantage. Pleasure doing business with you. Silly as it might seem, we're gonna ship all that stuff right back to Good Springs. All the rest of the stuff, I mean.
Oh, I guess some of this stuff is stolen from Prim anyway. That didn't occur to me, but it's true. this little corner of the main floor to still clear out. Well, we're not getting that drinking glass. We will get those two new Coca-Colas, which I'll go ahead and drink. Now we got another casino room to clear out. Oh. Okay, I guess we lost the rest of those items. Someone actually commented that they don't know why I'm so eager to excuse Obsidian for all the bugs in New Vegas, and as I think about it, he actually has a pretty good point, because he reminded me of... Um, Alpha Protocol, which I never played, and KOTOR 2, which I did. And uh, Obsidian kind of has a track record of delivering buggy messes. So perhaps we shouldn't all be so eager to forgive. Let's see, there's a Fixin' Things magazine. An unlocked safe. Some goodies inside. Salesman Weekly. And last, we've got this little back room. because NPCs do wander in here. And now we just have the array of safes in the back. And I believe there's an easy one, an average one, and a hard one. So we can unlock the easy and the average now, and we'll have to come back later for the hard. Or maybe it's two easies and hard, I don't know. Yeah, there's the hard one. So we can't open that yet. Carry weight's at 121. Alright. <clears throat> Time to enter the Bison Steve Hotel, where we will have many hostels to deal with. A nice stealthy weapon out. Move along, please. Well, actually, before we do that, let's talk to Ruby and Prim Slim. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long timers. 
He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. Tell me about Prim. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. I'd like some of that rad scorpion venom casserole. Does sound good, don't it? How many rad scorpion glands you got? I don't have any. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Time for me to go. Later. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Actually, we're going to wait to talk to Prim Slim. Happy trails, partner. We need to get our uh, science skill up to a certain threshold before Howdy. we talk to him in order to pass some skill checks. So, now we will head into the hotel. Oh, damn. Bagged him, that one too bad. Alright, so we've got an easy locked terminal and a hard locked door. I'm gonna leave the door. I mean, we'll hack the terminal, but we'll leave the door so we can uh, pick it open later. History, history, history. That one works. Perfect. We'll just do the hack. We won't disengage the lock. Aha. Oh, goodness. Hey, level seven. Awesome. All right, we're gonna take barter to 40, survival to 40, explosives to 30, And lockpick to 60. Awesome. Okay. We'll do this whole exterior area before we do any of the side rooms.
shoot. I'm trying to do the stealth kill thing, just doesn't work. Activate elevator button. The elevator is broken, but it looks as though it could be repaired. Repair 35 or higher required. We'll repair it, but ignore it for now. Oh, I thought we got experience for that. Oh well. Alright. Apple gum and mentats. A couple of Nuka Colas. Let's do the rest of this room. Star bottle cap. Okay. Hey. Now we don't want to... I don't want to aggro the guys in that big room yet. If I can help it. But I do want to finish searching this hallway. Awesome. Alright, now let's go back and clear out this gift shop. Start with the floor. There's two, three, four, five. books, along with Tales of a Junktown Jerky Fender, which will raise our barter by four. 32 more books. I'm at 201 carry weight, so I have to bail out soon. Next, through that little island, there's another book. 31 more needed. Just one second. Forgive the hiccup, please. Sorry for that little hiccup, but we are back. Try doing this counter next. And let's see if we can get this metal box. Oh, not quite. Okay. Also note the hard locked floor safe here. We'll be back for that later as well, once our lockpick hits. Or actually, let me check, because if I've got a locksmith's reader, and I don't, so it doesn't matter. I was going to say, if I had a locksmith's reader, we could actually open all these uh, hard, uh, hard locks now. But since we have the comprehension perk, it'll boost our... Uh, it would boost our skill by 20 instead of 10. But we don't have the magazine. Let's sell what we can to Johnson Nash. Oh, which is going to be nothing because we tapped him out. I almost forgot. Alright, by now they really ought to have restocked in Good Springs. I'll be kind of mad if they haven't. We need to pick up our other for sale items. All of them. And let's see. You looking to buy some supply? Hey, Chad is restocked. Good. 
That means everyone else here has too. out on NCR trooper fatigues that's fine he's got a total of 1284 caps so two more caps perfect thanks Go find Trudy. See what we can sell to her. Feeling thirsty? One seventy. All right. Thanks. Go see Doc Mitchell. Mm. That's how much shit are we still carrying? Quite a bit. <laughs> so it goes. It's all right. He can take one of the fatigues off our hands. That's nice. And now he's got one cap left. Alright. Alright, Good Springs is tapped out again. And we were able to sell most of the stuff, so that's good. Um, one other thing that I will do, I'll probably do it off screen, but uh, we need to play Caravan with Johnson Nash. I won't make you, I won't make you watch that. The pattern is exactly the same as when I showed you play in Ringo, but. Between episodes, I'll go tap out his caravan funds. All 
right. gonna say I think we can sell whetstones too. Alright, awesome. And actually one other thing we can do, um I think I only have the one, but we can grab our rad scorpion poison gland and take it back to Ruby. I don't care that they're weightless. All these things that are just crafting items I'm going to leave here so they don't keep taking up space in my inventory. I just realized I've been being rather stupid. 1.30. Is that ready for the grilled mantis? Yeah, just about. Let's eat that. Let's grab a ruby's casserole and carry it with us. For some reason, I've been running back to the saloon. I forgot there's actually clean water right here in Victor's shack. Stupid, I know. But, away we go. Hey, partner. Back to Prim once again. Let's, uh, drop by Vicky and Vance to give Ruby that, uh, rad scorpion gland. Hey, youngster. I'll just check. I very much doubt it, but we'll see if he is restocked. Yeah, of course he hasn't. Okay. Welcome back. I have one red scorpion gland. One's enough to make a helping. Hand it over. Yeah, bye. Awesome. All right, back to it. All right. And now that just leaves the actual shelves. There's one. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve books. That's awesome. I need only nineteen more, and then I can stop counting those. That'll be great. Alright, next. <clears throat> Let's open this easy locked maintenance door. And let's try to actually sneak attack that convict. Have to wait for him to move the other way. silly. Let's, let's just get him with the plasma pistol. That's been working just fine. Uh -huh. in this kitchen room we find Deputy Beagle who I'm not going to talk to just yet we're just going to clear this place out we'll drink that sunset sarsaparilla in a minute deal with the convicts in this big room. I'm going to make an anchor save here because one of them usually has either a flamer or an incinerator. I can't remember which, but regardless of which one it is, that can kill us dead. We're going to want to sneak kill everyone we can, so... I don't have any idea why they aggroed. I thought that was a good, clean stealth kill. Alright, let's drop the other one first so that then we can get a stealth shot with our plasma pistol. Hopefully that'll be enough to kill the leader. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, he must have heard me. See, I forgot. I don't have silent running. We're a ways away from that beast of a perk, so... That, I'm pretty sure, is the leader. What the hell? Yep, he's got an incinerator, so we need to be very careful.
All right. We got both cronies. Now there's only one left. Who's there? Now this, now this floor is clear. Let's loot the bodies first. Yes, an incinerator. And some leather armor, which by now I think we probably need a little repair. We do. Awesome. All right, now how's my carry weight? 197. Okay. Let's leave containers for now. 98, 99, 200. 201. 203. 204, 206, 208, 209, 210. And we need to offload again. Go figure. There's no chance Chet is restocked, it's the same day, so... Let's just... Drop everything we want to sell. I think I need to hold fire hose nozzles in this one. All right. Off to Victor's shack. <coughs> Excuse me. casserole. I think that's the best uh, food item we've got right now anyway. Just drink that sunset sarsaparilla.
very much doubt my hunger is anywhere near 180, so we'll just grab a drink and head back. Howdy, partner! Finish looting the room where the leader was. Oh yeah, Sunset Sarsaparillas. I almost forgot. There's another one. That's two ordinary tin cans. And needing exactly a hundred. Drink that Nuka Cola right quick. This room is this room and this level are clear. So we're still gonna leave Beagle until we've actually cleared the entire hotel, so let's pop back into stealth mode and make our way upstairs. Hotel actually has three floors, but the second and third are a single zone. It's loaded with convicts, but uh the leader's dead. And none of the others are as powerful as he is, so that much at least is good. Just need to be careful here. We don't want to aggro them all at once if we can help it. A couple of Nuka Colas, why not? Very easy locked door. Let's go ahead and do that. How many shots that took, but whatever. I guess we didn't. I guess we didn't get a sneak critical. There's the elevator that we fixed. That we can now also use to go between floors. The problem we have is that the uh, the red hash marks don't account for levels, so it's tough to tell if someone's on the same floor as us or the third floor up above. If we go over to this little corner, we find that it's actually empty. Found. Oh, all right. I guess we know where one of them's gonna come out. Let's be 
ready for that. Oh, for God's sake. Maybe I can vats it. There we go. That's what we're after. Nice, clean kill. Oh. Gotta be careful, though. We're gonna have another one. I have to get him, like, the split second he rounds the corner. If I want the stealth kill. Got a little hairy, but it didn't go so badly. Let's loot the three bodies. about to say the others must all be upstairs, but not quite. Seems clear we've got one right there. Now one of them has a key I may have accidentally already picked up. There's a door back to the exterior. And if we pinch all the way around, we get back here. So let's start by clearing out the hallway before we start actually exploring rooms. We'll use this exit now. Quicker coming and going from where we need to be. What's my carry weight? 208, 209, 210. Off we go. I think there's still at least one guy on the upper level, that's why I'm sneaking. Alright, so from here we can fast travel back to Good Springs. I very much doubt he's got any caps, but I'll check. You looking to buy some su Anything for sale goes in here. We'll go handle our business at Victor's Shack, like usual.
<clears throat> I, you know, I actually really like the Bison Steve Hotel. It strikes me as one of the few... What, 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 I, I shouldn't say few. One of the places where Obsidian actually designed a level instead of just you know, throwing a bunch of enemies around a shack and calling it good. I think it's pretty well designed. I like the verticality. I like the multiple pathways. Check my hunger before we go. Doing just fine. Now I'll get back to where we left Are off, but we have actually hit the one hour mark, so I need to end this video pretty soon. Let's head over to the entrance that takes us directly back where I'm trying to go. You need to get over here and hop on the coaster to do that, but that'll be fine. going to finish the hallway. That strikes me as a good, sensible stopping point. Alright, I am going to end this one here. This has been Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We've more or less cleared out the Bison Steve. I think there is literally just one bad guy left somewhere up on the third floor. So next time we're going to clear out the rooms on the second floor and then the third floor before finally talking to Deputy Beagle and advancing the storyline. Until then, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please consider clicking like, share, or subscribe, any or all of which really help me out. Regardless, please know that I really appreciate the fact you take the time to watch, and hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.